the publication I'm getting an award for is called uh, Do Roads Cause Deforestation? Using Satellite Images and Econometric Analysis of Land Use. It was published in the American Journal of Agricultural Economics in 1997, co-authored with Dan Hellerstein, who um, is an employee of the Economic Research Service at USDA. So I went to Washington in 1993 to ask the question, what are some of the potential environmental consequences of the NAFTA agreement, which is about to be signed? There was concern in the U.S that there would be potential for negative effects on the environment. But I was actually thinking more about Mexico because NAFTA was likely to lower the price of maize in Mexico, but also hopefully to increase wage rates as the economy of Mexico improved and more jobs were created. So if you look at a particular location in Mexico, in the agricultural sector, what you might see is that the incentive on marginal land to grow maize would be reduced. So the question is, could we turn that sort of qualitative assessment of the effect of NAFTA into a quantitative assessment of the consequences of NAFTA for the environment, in particular deforestation in Mexico. So I worked with my, um, my co-author, Dan Hellerstein, to gather some information, first of all, on where the forests were located and where the agriculture was located, what pressures there might be on, def uh, on the forest area deforestation. Went to the Foreign Agricultural Service, which was doing crop monitoring, and found that they were using satellite images to ask the question, how is the crop condition in Mexico doing in a particular season? So the question is, could we turn that into quantitative results to put into an economic model? The short answer to a much longer discussion is that no, they were using it for qualitative assessment, not quantitative assessment. So Dan and I had to learn enough about remote sensing from the perspective of the remote sensing experts to be dangerous, to turn that spatial data about um, land, uh, about where the satellite was taking the picture into actual information on land cover. So we then ask the question, what's going to cause land use change? It's a combination of socioeconomic changes, prices on outputs and inputs, and also these geophysical variables underlying the productivity of the location. So we combine data on soil quality, on slope and elevation, with information on socioeconomic variables. In particular, we looked at cost of access, which is determined very much by where the roads are located, hence the title to roads cause deforestation. We used um, uh, some new approaches to qualitative dependent variable modeling to um, answer this question. Um, at the time, we would start a job on a Friday afternoon and come back on Monday to get the results out. It took that long to get the analysis done. Today, you can do the same thing in about five minutes. But at that time, it was quite exciting to come back and see that the model had actually solved, and we had interesting results. And then we did simulations. What would happen if you took the roads away? In other words, what would happen if you raised the cost of access to these locations? And I can still remember the excitement when we looked at these pictures with the before and after the roads and saw that essentially, virtually, the forest grew down the mountains which is what you would expect because the cost of access was higher, meant less profitability, more likelihood of farmers leaving land in forests rather than converting it to agriculture. 